We'll take a page out of the fable of the 300 and just stack the bodies in a wall. <laughs> yeah. Apparently they're kobold, so it's only about a two and a half foot wall. <laughs> There's Plus, I mean, I only, I only need way, more hours, so I can And keep... you forget, there's more corpses in the other room right over there. A lot of them. Last time, if you guys remember, everyone's trying to scurry out of this little... Um, sunken area down below in the caverns of what you know to be called as the dragon hatchery looking down you found some dragon eggs unsure of exactly what type of dragon they come from but nonetheless knowing that they are of an evil brood you defeated some guard drakes from below who had been guarding the area within a cage enclosed um, stairwell down and as you were fighting them off, a very uh, simple encounter, you noticed a stalagmite off to the side. Ereva looking over to see an eye opening in the middle of the stalagmite. Sure enough, it began creeping forward. And just as you felled the last guard drake, a roper came into view grabbing one of the dead bodies and beginning to pull it in and so now everybody is fleeing because ropers are very very deadly and to be feared for good reason Andar of course has a purpose he has a need to provide justice and so he is smashing these dragon eggs so we will see exactly what happens and what type of encounter this turns into. And so we may begin again, and though we are not in initiative order anymore, or we're not in combat anymore. I would like us to stay in initiative order. Okay. I mean, if there's a roper, I think we we could still be in combat. He wants to eat us. <laughs> it would be best if we weren't, though. <laughs> it hasn't attacked you guys, so... All right, Ereva. All right. So, I wanted to, so just to make sure I get things right, um, if I use the sprint, I can't use that sprint action and make an attack on the same turn, can I? No, because uh, sprinting is a dash action, so you have to take a dash action in order to move double. Yep. So that, that is uses, what I thought. Yep, that uses up your action. That is what I thought. Okay, so I am going to see if this works. I'm going to try and move here. So I see Andar, you know, wanting to dispose of the eggs. So I want to provide him some backup. So I'm going to move here. And yell at me for doing this wrong. I want to move here. Did I do that right? Yep. Awesome. And then I would like to take a shot at the egg, like, furthest away from me, because Andar is closest to the one at the bottom. That one? Yes. Okay. Yes, so I don't know if you do need me to roll, I'm assuming. Uh, yes, please. Okay. Nice. That hits, and as your arrow sinks into the shell, it cracks open and splitting with the form of a of a half-grown dragon-looking creature kind of pours out onto the ground. All right, perfect. And I shout to Andar, I leave the last egg to you, but hurry and get out of here. And I end my turn.
Uh-oh. All right, Freddy. Ask again, which egg did she destroy? Uh, uh, the one, the one to, to the left. left of your icon, yeah. So the two, okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right, Freddy. What are you up to? Oops, not that. Um, he can't do or see anything yet, he said. Uh-oh. Um, yes. Freddy is literally at the front of the gate at the bottom of the stairs. Yep, he's... Yep, you're still at the, uh bottom of the steps you were waiting for Andar to come up and then uh Ureva comes up <laughs> behind you and goes back into the chamber alright so he said he waits for Andar and will lock it as soon as he passes okay but if the roper comes any closer he's gonna run alright so we go back to the roper who pulls the guard drake lifeless form into its maw and then just kind of sits back make me an insight check Ureva I swear I have to relearn where it is every time oh all right you sense danger. <laughs> Gee, what a shock. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. All right, Hawkeye. Hello. Um, let's see here. I'm pulling up my character. Um, I think I'm just going to switch back to my human form. Okay. So, uh, let's make sure I got all that stuff for you, but, uh, I got the, uh, one click druid. He actually has a generic token swapper as part of it. Should be able to use it. For the... Um... Where? So I got you the uh, one kick... One click druid. Um... What do you call it? The uh... Extension? Yeah, the extension. So it should... Should help a lot for this. He has to load uh-huh. it from our though. Okay, so if you go, if you're on the, on the very right side, you know how it has all those tabs? Yes. Okay, on the very bottom, it says library. All right. Click on that. Mm-hmm. And then that window that pops up, click on modules. It should, should be on the bottom. All right. And then scroll. And you should see... Oh, the one-click druid. Yep. Critically Awesome Essentials Module One-Click Druid. You're going to want to load that. And then at the very bottom, it also has Generic Token Swapper. You're going to want to load that. Got it. And then we'll kind of figure out as we go how how that stuff kind of works. All right. So I just uh, loaded it. Okay. So, uh... Probably gonna want that window open. Okay. Uh, not sure where um, exactly to find that, but yeah, I can't switch into wild form unless we rest now because I okay. used both of mine up. So then on, on library, if you uh, if you click on the extension in, in the little window, 
can open up spells and stuff like that, so then you should be able to use use that window. So you're gonna have to drag the wild shapes from the spells list to the action tab to Okay. <laughs> so I drag the one click druid where? Or do I drag the um wild form over to it so if you look on your spells it's uh do you know what do you know what i'm talking about the critically awesome essential druid did you click on that oh i see yeah so then it 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 opens up spells and then story so if you click on spells it's Mm -hmm. got all your druid stuff so you would scroll down until you see wild shape and then right now you can um change into anything up to one fourth challenge rating so the wild shape cr one fourth one eighth and zero you can all do so then all you would do was is uh click and drag any of those onto your token oh, okay onto your uh actions tab um okay so, so then would, I'm yeah. going to just, just try it with the um, the snake again. Okay. If I can find it on here. Oh, I see it. There we go. Yep. Did I do it? Yep. All right. Sweet. So okay. Then, I'm just gonna move. Oh for damn! My turn. Yeah, that's awesome because it's got it's got all your attacks and everything. So that's that's awesome. I I do like that. All right. Yeah. So I'll I'll be able to set that all up for you a lot better later. Um, can I have the map up again? I'm. Oh, never mind. That was my bad. I accidentally scrolled it down too far. Um, so I'm gonna move this way. Are the, um, torches lit or unlit right now? The torches are lit. Freddy saw to that. Okay. I got you. Good guy, Freddy. Actually, I'll, I'll just go here instead of the 40. I'm not gonna go forward and go back. I'm just going to go right there. Okay. And then I'll end my turn. All right. Andar. Must crush egg. Go ahead and roll an attack. Yes, you smash into the egg, and a lifeless form pours out into the viscous fluid, gasping for breath. A little half formed dragon. Um. So would picking the half-formed dragon thing up and tossing it, that would be an action, right? <laughs> yes. Okay. To, well, like, throw gonna, it, yeah. We're not going to waste an action. We're going to run! Um, We're going to <laughs> keep, uh, let me see. Five, thirty, right? And the roper is kind of just munching right now. You're back out of here now. <sighs> well, my turn. All right. Walamir will shout down, Andar, what the hell are you doing? Get out of there. The thing will kill you. Ereva. The elf All is right. closer than I am. We'll worry more about her. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the sprint doubles our movement, right? Yes, a dash action. That's what it is. So I'm just going to run. I'm going to use that. and oh, Actually, I don't need to. So I am actually going to go up to here and just position myself at the top of the stairs, keep my bow and arrow aimed, okay. um, so I can kind of keep an eye at the base of the stairs for anything other than friendly coming up. And okay. then I'm just gonna end my turn. 
I'm good. <laughs> All right, Freddy. Same thing. Waiting for Ondar to get out. I'm closing the door. All right, the Roper is going to move to the side a little bit. Looking at your group as it's munching, kind of with uh, what seems to be a little bit more curiosity than any malice. Hawkeye. Hello? I hear. I don't hear her. <laughs> I was going to say. Did she go to sleep? I don't know. <laughs> Back in the snake mic. I accidentally muted the mic. Uh, <laughs> that happens. I was coughing earlier, so I didn't want everyone to hear it. Yep, that's fine. Oops. Um, so for level two... Um, spell slots. Can you use a level one or no? Yes, you just cast up. Yeah, but you can't cast down. So if it's a level two spell, you can't use a level one. Mm -hmm. But you, okay. some spells can be level ones that you use as level two for extra uh, or damage. Okay. Now. And usually it'll say it if you click on the shield to bring up the spell. It'll tell you like, oh, do this at level two, and you'll get, you know. Yeah, Whatever. that's Extra that's dice, what the uh, usually. <laughs> yep, that's what the uh, little part that says at higher levels means on your spell sheet. So when you click on the shield, it, it opens up the spell description. So like Thunder Wave, if you cast it at level two, the damage increases by one d eight. All right. Uh... Sorry, I'm looking up my spell before I use it. Okay, I'm going to try casting Guiding Bolt, I think, if I can, if that's 120 feet away. Let's see how far away it is first. Oh, the rover is definitely 120 feet. Or less than 120 feet, but boy, howdy, do I wish you would not attack that thing. <laughs> it has yet to become aggressive. As... Yeah. We'll see. <laughs> I mean, it's about to, I guess, but mm. boy, do I not have the hit points or rage to continue a combat against a roper, guys. Fine, I'll just end my turn. All right, Andar. And doors closed. Boom. All right. So Andar runs up the steps. Freddy slams the gate shut right well, behind let's be him. Not running. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> like Andar, move, right? he, he is moving quickly, though. Yes. Andar <laughs> strategically <laughs> retreats. Hasten. He's hastening. He has a, a hasty <laughs> retreat. All right, uh, once the door is locked, I move up here and end my reaction. Okay, so we will go out of initiative order. Your tokens are no longer locked. The Roper is just kind of chewing hungrily at the body it just consumed down below. I think it's cute you think that door is going to stop it, but <laughs> maybe we should leave. It's the thought that matters. That's right. If it makes you feel better, you close that door. You slam it tight. That's right. I did. It's cage good <laughs> now. It can't get out. It'll never get us. It'll never leave. It's going to starve to death in that pit. Hey, Freddy doesn't know better, okay? That's what Freddy would do. This Hondar, he's never seen one of these before or heard of one. This That's Rover right. or whatever it is that you called it. It I would be it best Rover. not to be... What's that? Where's Rober? Rober. Rober? That's what he said. I thought Romer or Rover. 
Not. <laughs> Red Rover. <laughs> Except you don't want it to come over. Oh, no, 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 no. He said Roger. Oh, a rogue. Oh, yes. Yes, yes it's a roger. Yeah, that's it. Do we have time for formal? Um, shit, what does it mean? If formal. I could make suggestions, it would not be within, let's call it, 50 feet of that thing. <laughs> <laughs> He's ready to just GTFO. Introductions, formal introductions. When I have ten, less than 10 hit points and I know what a roper can do, yeah. As you guys are leaving call the him room. Here. Get the fuck up here. <laughs> as you guys are leaving <laughs> the room, the roper, you can kind of hear the, the, the low, savage, animalistic sounds coming from it kind of struggling to speak common but nonetheless speaking common that's weird by the way that hawkeye, to do that. hawkeye ereva and noct can all make nature checks for me real quick all right all right uh that's 21 good roll Oh, come on. <laughs> That's that is less than 21. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mine didn't roll. <clears throat> Let's see. here. Why is this not working? Are you double clicking on the number? Um. You can drag and drop the dice to the chat, or you double click on the. Um, yeah, it says only records which you can own can be shared. Huh? Or unable to open a window using wildcard links because no module containing that link is open. What? Check your active one. library models. Here, I got an idea. So I'll just. So my nature is just add one. Okay. Okay. There. Gotcha. So four. Well, at least I did something here. And, you, and you're clicking on the little die next to the number, right? Yeah. Sounds like there's it some just, kind of module error. Yeah, it just weird. wouldn't let me. Yeah, it says only records which you can own can be shared. Try just like closing out of your character sheet and opening it back up. Maybe something just got hit weird. No. It, you, when you loaded stuff funny. in the library, uh, you didn't accidentally unload stuff, did you? <laughs> um, I can check. Yeah, that might be I worth don't to making sure so. that all your little book icons that you can see in there are open. And let, maybe it's just something with that extensions wonky. But yeah, yeah I have I characters, images, maps, um, NPCs, notes, items. No, in story. the in the modules oh, one. Yeah, skills. if you open your library, you can see what all modules you have loaded. Modules. Or just that's it, it's like, literally like the books. Yeah, like that's D &D like the player's books. handbook and stuff yep. like that. Make sure that the little book looks open as the icon. That'll mean you're loaded. Oh, the D and D player's handbook. Yep, all well, that stuff. Preferably all of them. You're probably going to want to load all of them that I have available for you, so... Yeah, just to make sure there's not... Because that could be causing that issue. Uh oh. Um, yeah, yeah anyway. I I'm going to reiterate to the group. Uh, that's not normal that they talk. Usually they eat. They eat and they pull you in and then eat you more. So... I uh, I must admit it must be a fearsome creature so you to have... Turn tail and run like. Um, Why don't you go to, down there and say hello then, Ondar? If you want to see what happens. Well, it uh, does seem to want question. I, I, I'm not calling you out. I'm not accusing you of cowardice. I just, if you're fearful of. Can you of still it, hear me? I must be fearful yep. of. Yeah. It would be uh, to your advantage to, yes, be very aware of the gaping maw of the Roper. And typically, they don't talk and just eat. Well, they eat meat, but usually they catch you and lift you up into their sky, up into the roof, and then eat you, and then your bones fall down on your friends. Mm. You've seen many of these creatures, then. I can uh, hear you. No, we second. very rarely live to see them. I've just, you know, 
a lot of times guys don't come back from the digs, and often a roper is at the key of that. Roper, you call it. Yeah, ah, ropey little arms. Little, yes, they. Yeah, ro- yeah. Yes. Oh, now I understand. <laughs> and they'll reach down, you know, from an incredible distance, and then slowly pull you in as you kick and scream before it slowly devours you. Hey, sorry, did not figure out anything. The nature check. My um, my laptop freaked out for a second, and I couldn't hear anything through Discord, and my fantasy grounds froze. Yeah, they shouldn't be talking. It's weird that it talks. I thought it was weird that it was talks, but I was just going to let it go. But uh, since it's been brought up now, uh, it's weird that they talk. They shouldn't do that. They're like monsters. They shouldn't contain capacity. Uh, what's the range on Qualamir's Maybe brain talking? Brains. Qualamir's brain talking, I think, is 60 feet. That keeps him safe from the tentacles. I think maybe... Maybe call him here. You could try to communicate it from a li- the literal farthest distance. You can do that at, and we could just shout down to it. But ah, uh, I, I mean, if you think that's a good idea, I suppose I can try. Well, we just let it perish down there. It seems to be. Well, they shouldn't talk. It's weird that it's talking. All right. I'm being honest, Qualamir still holding his pebble with light. Um, kind of gets really silent for a moment as it communes with the roper. As he communes with the roper, not it. <laughs> <laughs> he communes with it. And after a, a few moments in the eerie silence of these caverns, he looks back to you and he says, uh, it appears that the, the kobolds and other denizens of the caverns have been feeding this roper. Well, that might explain where some of the meat's been going, because it hasn't been going to a bunch of fucking eggs. Eggs don't eat. That, I know. Ah, so it was the coal balls that's been killing killing all the animals. Mm, Not entirely. Yeah, no, it was the hunters killing the animals. The kobolds probably just chuck the meat in here, and then occasionally a kobold gets eaten too, because fucking who cares? So... So was the roper in charge of guarding the eggs as a last resort? Uh, I don't know. I'll, I'll ask. In a uh, few more moments of silence with Qualamir looking straight at the roper from a distance. Uh, no, I, I, I gather it was it was here first before these uh, before the cult moved in. Ah, uh, they're trying to placate it so that it didn't eat their precious eggs. I I wouldn't think so. It doesn't seem aggressive. It just wants to eat. It's quite the risky security measure, if you ask me. Well, I don't I think mean, it was it's a not a bad one. Though. I think I, I think it was a mistake. I, I mean, you, you say that, but I'm pretty sure Cyan Wrath could have killed that thing without. A lot of trouble. It took five of us to bring him in, and the guy did seem to be quite the, the warrior. So maybe a little bit of both, right? You find a, a roper, and you're a bunch of evil monsters. You stick the monster on the monsters. Yeah. When life gives you lemons, you take the lemons and squirt it in life's eye. <laughs> oh, uh, you just eat the lemons so you don't get scurvy. <laughs> What's a scurvy? It's it's like rickets, but worse. Sailors a, speak of it. What's a ricket? I don't actually know what rickets are. I know it's curvy, but I don't know what rickets are. So that may actually be incorrect. Would we be um, in error to it. for us to leave this creature alive here? Or well, you can't kill all the rope we saw in the world. So is there a way to keep it from leaving that chamber? Can you cave in the the stairwell? Well, you're the tunneler. Well, I can't. That's oh, why I said oh, you could. Then I can't. <laughs> and I no longer have any magic. And, and, yeah. and I no longer have any magic. And even if I did have magic, I have nothing of that sort. To be honest, the little guy's not going to leave this cave. And the cave. I have Earth Tremor. Is it cave in? Do we been anywhere? 
Oh, yeah, I guess there's this last hallway. No, Freddy went down that hallway, right? It, it ends there? No, it does the not one, end there. No, 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 no. The oh, one okay. that you're by, that, that yeah. one has been unexplored by us. Yep. Okay. I wasn't sure. That's the one that the kobolds came in. Mm-hmm. But Let's... I have Earth Tremor. I don't know if that helps any, but I do have Earth Tremor. Uh, My lady, I do not know what that power does. Can you explain it to us, perhaps, and we can help you? Yeah, so you cause a tremor in the ground in a 10-foot radius. Each creature other than you in that area makes a dexterity saving throw, but otherwise it's not prone. If the ground in that area is loose, earth, or stone, it becomes difficult to rain until cleared. So within my 10, so it's, no, no, so within 10, so it's centered around you. Uh, I do not think that that would be a wise idea, Hawkeye. You'd have to stand <laughs> in the tu in the tunnel in order to in cave it. In the cave in. <laughs> yeah, in, in the cave in. Brave the cave in. Oh, that didn't Now go assuming well. that would work even. That's worth a shot. Well, I, unless we want to climb back up that little slidey hole back over there, I point over my shoulder. I think we best press further into the caves. Well, you barely survived the way down, so we should probably keep going. <laughs> <laughs> I did just fine. I'm at full health. Oops. I don't want to talk, guy. We uh, are chasing cultists, is why we are here. Chasing cultists, got it. I am trying to figure out why animals keep on disappearing. I believe the mm, cultists were solved. With food, yes. <laughs> so if it's like a dog. Yes, they were feeding a small army I mean, of kobolds and and other cultists, and apparently and this rover. Yeah. And these people will persist on ravaging nature's resources in order to try to fuel their army and their insidious objectives. If you'd like to join us and to put a stop to them, I think our causes might have a mutual benefit. <laughs> He is hard and cannot speak in simple sentences sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just laughing because Drake Drake takes says, unbeknownst to the party, the roper would trade a miscellaneous magical item it has for for some Cheetos. <laughs> oh my <laughs> <geez>. <laughs> All right, Nox. Yeah, I'll join is you that guys. A, is, that a, is that an option? <laughs> Cheetos? Cheetos? Do you know what Cheetos, Cheetos are? <laughs> Noct is looking down this hallway, and it it goes beyond and curves to the left. Diggity. Oh. <laughs> no. Uh, oh no! I would uh, appreciate if you would take the front. Walk over here. Pull that hook from the wall. Okay. If you can. Yeah. And then move to the front. All right. Middle guard. Which will bring you to there. So I guess I'm third. Be bright light to there, I think. I don't know. Let's check torch. I think it's 2020. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's dim, 20 dim. bright, 20 dim. Yep, it is 20 and 20. That's bright light in there. And he waits for his companions to... So did this go... Get them by the dotted lines. This tunnel crossed above or below the thing under. below it or the other... Below, under. We, we went um, down that chute. Oh, yeah, we went, we went down. down. Oh, it went under. Duh. Yeah. yeah. yeah no. we were, like two Don't floors to ish them, below. Uh, yeah, because it's. Yeah, I got it as a wall. I'm kind of waiting for Andar to move forward. But Nacht, you, what are you doing? You guys are all. Um, Noct Noct is holding up the party right now. Just because because of how the line of sight kind of worked. All right, Andar, hold off right there. Did, did not die? Oh no, there he is. No. Okay. 
Oh, he's moving us. <laughs> teleportation. Yep. I'm moving you guys all. Can can I have boots of teleportation? Is that a thing? Because <laughs> that would be great. That would be nice, wouldn't it? All right, everybody. An artificer, you could get boots of the winding path. You basically just run up and then teleport back 15 steps. You all very good for rogues. Enter into this smaller area. Let me show this. Oh, crazy. Oh, it's a tight squeeze. Oh, boy. And there are kobolds. I need everybody to roll me initiative. Uh, those fucking kobolds. Oh. <laughs> I haven't had a rest. I don't suppose you guys have any potions left. I I have oh, come on. The one, one time I roll a 20 is during initiative. <laughs> you have one. <laughs> uh, if I'm going to be any use in this, I'm going to need I have five hit points and no rage. <laughs> As, as soon as we see them, just I enough for a I, I was to gonna to heal to you, me. but uh, uh, yeah, I was gonna heal you. Uh, those kobold noises? Uh, I think those are like go I think those are like actually goblin noises, but yeah, kobolds. I'm a hundred percent imagining that's what kobolds sound like right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> yes. I believe they're supposed to speak in high pitched like shrieks oh. of common and draconic. But this is so much more entertaining for it's, me. It's cuter. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, and we will begin with Ereva. All right. Um, do I have line of sight on this guy? Yes, but he is blocked, so he would get cover. Like lot of cover um okay actually uh no you would not have line of sight because i have the uh the line of sight wall a little bit far back from the wall so you actually wouldn't be able to see him oh okay so and i really wish i didn't go first for once <laughs> you can always hold your turn action but not a movement i can hold my turn well, hold you can... an action you can prepare an action and hold it yeah designate what your trigger is you know i will okay. shoot at x if it moves to here or it you know i will do Perfect. x if y happens that kind of thing. so you can also uh... for you can change your place in the order by foregoing your turn and then taking it later in the order and like push yourself down yeah it's not necessarily always the best but sometimes you get like a total support character up too high so you can force yourself down by delaying your turn i don't think you can do that in 5e but i mean no, you can. Unless the DM allows it. You, I think you're not supposed to do that in 5e, but it makes sense to me and I'm okay with it. I say, I think what I'm just going to do for now is I hear them moving up a, like up front and everything. So for now, I'm just going to have my bow and arrow at the ready. And if Cobalt 6 comes in my line of sight, then I'm going to take a shot. Okay. Is that doable? Um, yes. I can't see the map anymore. Uh oh. Did it go black? Because that if you click off your character, sometimes it'll do that. I think there we go. The, I can yeah, see it now. I think you're in the wall, so you technically have no line of sight. So that's why it went dark. Uh, that could be also. I, I just didn't have the map up anymore. Oh, OK. Like, I, I don't know what happened. And looking um, at these, you notice that some of the kobolds have wings, quite a few of them, actually. Oh, good. There's more. Uh, I'm just going to ready in action to attack any of the kobolds that get close enough, but I'm going to hold there because somebody's going to have to heal me before I go in that room. All right. This winged kobold is going to run up. Go ahead and take that ready to action. Me? Um, Knocked. Because you specifically said Kobold 6. That is a hit. 
I would hope so, otherwise we're in real trouble. <laughs> Seven points of damage as it falls down to the ground, dying. Thanks for taking all the fun, Noct. Oh, I we're not love done yet. for somebody to come get in front <laughs> of me. You know what? There's, there's lots of fun to be had. I am one hit, one good hit, and I'm eating dirt, so... Taking us to Hawkeye. All right. I know what I want to do. So, I want I I to... Was active, so I do have that. As my... Let's see, is that an action? It's a bonus action, so I can do it on my bonus action. All right. So as my action, I want to... Let's... Use... Shoot. <laughs> No, um, you. Oh, okay. Said. Yeah, let's use Guiding Bolt as my action. Okay. So I'm going to... I'm using it as my level 2 spell slot. Alright. Uh, what are you casting it against? Oh, shoot. I should probably do that first, huh? Yeah, because you, you are only able to see a very narrow area. Okay, let's... I'm going to stand on the body first. Okay. Now I can see them. Yep. Um... Let's... Shoot it at. Oops, not. Is it shift click for control. the control? Control. That one. All right. And. I'll do the guiding bolt. Yep. All right. I got it. That's a hit. This guy's going to explode. And then... And then I hit the damage thing, right? Yep. 12 points of radiant damage. Money. Had her self targeted too. Oh, did she? Oops. Uh, yeah. No, <laughs> Whoopsie. All right. Drop the concentration on something. Yep. Uh, drops the guidance because I think I I forgot to take that off. The kobold falls to the ground dead. And then. I don't have to concentrate anymore, correct? Correct. All right. Now, I'm as my bonus action, I'm going to use. Um, let's see. I'm just checking real quick if healing word is better or healing spirit is better. I think healing spirits the one where we walk through and you get a bonus. Yep. Which means it, it lasts a little longer. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I'll do healing spirit. Okay. And so go ahead is... and drop a zone on on the square that you want to put that on. What is it like? Hold control and then both mouse buttons drag out. Yep. To make a square. Or shift. I think I think shift is square. Control is circle. Any, oh, any so of shift. those would do. 
Oops. Go away, spam caller. More quick pointers, radio menu. Also true, yeah. You're gonna wanna put that on a square that's that you're not on. An unoccupied square. Yeah. Okay, let's put it. Shoot. It's a five foot radius? Yeah, so yeah. basically just one square. So what is this? Wait, it's five? healing spirit, so if you walk through it, you get 1d6 of... Well, so oh. you walk through it, and then I think you use your reaction. If it's it? five feet in radius, then it's two squares by two squares. No, it's, it's a, a five, five foot, foot cube. Cube, oh, cube. cube. yeah, okay. sorry. Yep. Okay. And it, it's concentration lasting up to one minute. And right any time you or a creature... Okay, so anytime a creature that Hawkeye can see moves into the spirit space for the first time on a turn or starts its turn there, you can cause the spirit to restore hit points. So anytime within the minute, you can move through. And it doesn't cost anything. I thought that was a reaction, but that must be Aura of Vitality I'm thinking of. So yeah, so everybody who walks through that just gets a free what, 1d6. Yep. Not bad at all. There you go, Noct. Especially Looks since like we all kind of have to go through this hallway. <laughs> run through it like five times. <laughs> then I end my turn. There you go. All right. What kind of beast does it look like? Yeah, it gets it to is... look like a beast. So it you gotta is... walk through your heel cat. <laughs> my heel cat? It is a eagle. No, it's a hawk. It's a hawk. hawk. Mm. All right, well, Freddy. Freddy would like to move through Ondar and Knock Square, and then go into the uh, the little nice healing bubble. He'll take a D6. Refreshing hint of eagle. I'm sorry. <laughs> <Hawk>. <laughs> All right, Hawkeye. So you're gonna want to click and drag that plus sign next to your healing spirit onto Freddy. And then Freddy will move out of the way. Right here. On to... Freddy. Oops. The guy that just moved. Oh, okay. Freddy receives nice. four points of healing. Yeah, I'll take it. Alright, he's going to use his uh, bonus action to draw a hand crossbow. Aim at uh, Wing Kobold 6, he's gonna take a shot. Remember, that's not your bonus action, that's your your interaction item. So if you had bonus action spells, I don't know if you do or not, but... Uh, ne not negative, I'm out. Yeah. I'm dry. Oh, that's right, you... <laughs> I forgot, we've been fighting forever. <laughs> yes, yes we have. <laughs> we we should have took a nap. <laughs> that is a miss. Yep, unfortunately. Um, and that is... Okay, so I still have my bonus action, is that right then? Yeah. Yes. Okay, then I'll use that to reload the crossbow, please, and end my turn. Alright, Qualamir is going to... Let's see, does he have any spell slots? No, he is out. I was going to say, better not if he didn't heal me. Show him. Mm. That's how Qualamir's gonna end up dying, not healing me. <laughs> Killing myself. You can't really see much of anything. Okay, 15, 20, 25, and 30. So he will not take any healing, but he is going to attack Winged Kobold 6 with Sacred Flame. And it succeeds. Damn, that dude rolled 22? Fuck that kobold. <laughs> this is a very tough kobold. Kobold 6. 1, 2, damn, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. It is going to attack Qualamir. do that. With a dagger. <laughs> and that is a hit. Damn. For 6 points of damage. My gosh. I'm a little worried. These kobolds are rolling really well. <laughs> Winged kobold 6. Is going to make a sling attack. 
Or no, actually a dropped rock attack. So he just picks up a rock and chucks it at Qualamir. He does get advantage for this. <coughs> the target's in bright light, though. Oh, yeah, you're right. It is in bright light, so he does not get advantage. It just rolls normally. And that is a hit. Dealing five points of damage. Kobold, three. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Same thing with a sling. That's a hit. Or it could have just left the party. Dang. Dealing four points of damage. Kobold, five is going to run up. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. He's going to make a dagger attack. That is a miss. Kobold 2. 5, 10, 15, 20. He's going to attack Qualamir as well. Sling attack. That is a miss. Winged Kobold. Dropped a rock at Qualamir. Miss. Kobold 4. Man, they're all going at once. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Sling attack at Qualamir. That is a hit. For 3 points of damage as Qualamir is knocked down. Kobold 6 is going to make a sling attack at Freddy. Or dropped rock, I should say. You gotta be careful with Kobolds, man. There's so yep. many of them. 4 points of damage, and we go to Ondar. <sighs> Uh, better get in there, son. I was going to move. You can move through me up there. into the heel, yeah, and then pass forward over Qualamir's unconscious body. Uh, oh. yeah. All right, Hawkeye. Move. Into the healing square. All right, Hawkeye, you're gonna want to do the healing on Ondar now. So every time yes. someone moves within within that square, go ahead and drop the healing real quick. Oops. I need to pull up my thing again. No. Why does that not work? Um. It's in your action. Yep, there we go. I was like, well, it, it just wasn't working um, when I tried to drop it on him, so I just rolled a regular D6. Okay, Andar receives five points of healing. So, I'm, I'm guessing that it's dark in this room, and the only light is from my torch, right? Correct. Andar is going to shove Cobalt 5. Okay. Him too. Um, uh, I think I can push him up to either five or ten feet. Um, uh, I'll roll my strength. Let me roll a strength check. Oh, of course. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the kobold does not move. He actually kind of ducks. Right. He ducks from your push. Okay. Um, and I will move. Over Qualamir to here. All right. Uh, do so. Delete it. Put it on Qualamir. Yeah, that would end my turn. All right. Bring us to another kobold. 10, 15, 20, Lord help us. <laughs> 25. He is going to make a sling attack at Ondar, which is a miss. Winged kobold 2. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, so they don't take disadvantage from light, it's only direct sunlight. 
Yeah, I didn't want to bring it up because we really needed that advantage, but it is sunlight sensitivity, yeah. and there's a, literally a spell called sunlight that you're supposed to use for these guys, and okay. boy, so, is that going to turn bad for us now that he knows. Yeah, now, now that I remembered that. <laughs> Ondar. Oh, no. I was hoping we'd get at least through this death fucking march. Tosses a rock at you, and he gets a hit. Oh, crap. You're a good Seven help, points man, of damage. I saw what they did to Qualamir. Taking like us it. back to the top of the order with Ereva. All right, so... I... Okay, so I want to... Target Cobalt 5. He is so covered by I the move, wall. Oh, there if you I go. move here, yes. I can see him, right? Yes. Alright, then I'm gonna shoot this son of a jerk. Um and how far? He's 20 feet? Oh, perfect. So I am going to Where's my planar warrior? Why is my power not there? It is. All right, I'm going to activate Planar Warrior and take a shot at that Cobalt. All right. That is a hit. Oh, thank goodness. All right. Why can't I figure out how to do this today? There we go. All right. 17 Dang. points of damage. You're, you got an extra D8 on there. Because you hit yeah, Planar okay. Warrior one, uh, twice. So I'll take the four away. Okay. I was wondering why. It's, still, mean to do it's that. still a death. <laughs> yeah, He's still very dead. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And then I am going to end. All right. Knocked. You have received initiative. Uh, okay. I'm going to step into here. I was just gonna attack that guy and then refresh on the turn for a second heal. But, okay, no, I'll do that. Okay, so I step to there. Can I get that heal? Three points of healing. Okay, and then I'm gonna step to here. And I'm gonna attack. Right? Because, yeah. Uh, well, uh, with Qualamir down, actually, with my Halberd's reach, can I reach Kobold 6? Because he's within 10 feet, but normally there's a person. I forgot he's unconscious, though. Um, from, from when I was on the healing square? Yes, but you already did make your movement, so... That's yeah, fine. I'll kill him, then. I just have to make sure I kill him. Where is... Sorry, I forgot where... Reckless attack. There it is. Okay. Turn on Reckless. And bring the Halberd down on this guy. 24 to hit. That is a hit. And the damage. Seven points of damage as the kobold falls to the ground dead. Enough that I can take a step back into the healing zone and get it on the start of my next turn. Yep, that's gonna be it. All right. You're still selfish. I would be sorry to clog, clog it up, but Yureva doesn't want to go any further anyway. <laughs> <laughs> the shit show up ahead of us. Hey, as long as I can shoot things, I'm good staying where I am. Okay, so the spirit can heal a number of times equal to one plus your spellcasting ability modifier. Oh, right, that thing does have a certain amount of time. It's probably four, maybe five times. What is the... the uh, it's wisdom, right? Probably. Yeah. yeah. So or, up to yeah. four times. So I think... Uh, so Freddy, Ondar, once me. So, so if the you, start of my yeah. turn will be the final if yep. I take it. So this will be the final one. Yeah, Ondar, Freddy, knocked, and then knocked again. Oh, uh, see, I I'm thought not... there was a duration, not an uh, limit amount. Oh. Yep, so at the start of Nox's turn, you'll get that healing. All right, Hawkeye, you are up. All right. 
Um, do I need to still be next to the square in order to heal them? Like, no, no. Okay. Can we have this music every time we battle? <laughs> if you like it that much, sure. What's my speed again? I think 30, right? Yep. I'm gonna go there and hit Cold Ball. Uh, try to hit Cold Ball one. Uh, the. Shoot. The. Do I still have one spell slot or did I use them all? You have one first level spell slot and one second level spell slot. All right. So I'm going to use Thunder Wave. All right. Let's go ahead and make make the uh area of effect so that I know what you're targeting. You don't want to target yourself. Is it shift click or is it control? Control. Click. Control click, sorry. Make make your area of effect first. I'm trying to do that right now. You can right click and then on the radial menu hit the pointers and then you're going to want to draw a square oh, because yep because thunder wave is a cube so it's a three by three square because it's 15 feet there you go i don't want to target myself and then you're going to want to drag and drop that to where you're targeting or yeah, right there. There. There is a slightly better place you can use it. I would put it here, but that's targeting me. Oh, never mind. There you go. I found it. I was like, I found it. You were only targeting one creature. You're going to want to target all of them. Oh, oops. How do I... That's control click too? Yep, control cl click every one. Yeah, cold one already failed, so I think you can deselect him. Yep. And, and do it. So go and ahead and make your... It make your roll and then you can uh pull up make your roll now deselecting number De one yep deselect one and then make okay. your attack roll there you go so since he already failed now you can target him again and then you can do the damage because thunder wave still deals half damage on a successful save so it'll automatically do that all right, and then that's just the damage thing, right? Yep. There you go. A lot of deaths. Winged Kobold 2. Okay, he succeeded, so he doesn't get pushed. All right. Good turn. Yep, there you go. So you can, uh, you can delete that square. There you go. And I can't move. So I think I use all my movement. Unless you can move as a vertical selection, but I don't think you can. Let's see. You, you were in difficult terrain, so moving out of it. Wait. Yeah, so one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, you used all your actions to get there, movement to get there. Yep. Okay. Then uh, I move my turn. End of my turn. 
I just have to get the combat tracker up again. All right, Freddy, you have received initiative. Seeing the uh, courageous maneuver of our compatriot here. Oh, Freddy's going to move to there. Oh, sorry. That was one too far. I want to be on top of the body. Gotcha. Target the damaged cobalt here. Loose the crossbow at it. And that is a hit. Hey. Three points of damage as he falls to the ground dying. I did a, I did a thing, guys. <laughs> <laughs> bravo, bravo. Yeah, and then I'm, then I'm going to move back. <laughs> He and he's not one in line of fire. Over the corner. Yeah, peek over the corner yep. of Ondar. Yep, exactly. You guys got it. Um, and then uh, use my bonus action to reload my crossbow and end my turn. All right. Qualamir will roll a death save. We go to Winged Kobold 4. Who's going to run forth 5 10 15 20 25 and he will make a dagger attack with advantage and he hits dealing seven points of damage hawkeye you succeed on your concentration check so you get to keep doing the uh, uh what do you call it the healing spirit winged kobold it's going to move up, 5, 10, dagger with advantage. That is a miss. Nice. Kobold 4 will sling a bolt at you, a little pebble missing. Kobold 6 is going to make a dagger attack, hitting for five points of damage. You succeed on your concentration check. Ondar, you have received initiative. Mm. Ondar is going to move. Two, three, five, ten. Here. All right, so Winged Kobold 6 will get an attack of opportunity against you. Bastards. Bastards, everyone. <laughs> And that is a miss. Okay, we'll drop his torch and draw his sword and attack if he can. Yes. I'm going to hit, uh, try to hit wing and cobalt one. All right. Good try. <laughs> Emphasis on oh, gonna try. Oh, that was on a 15. No. I don't understand why I can't ever hit anything. <laughs> I, I yeah, lean my head around yeah. the corner. You are really making me sad I gave you that sword. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're bad. I want to continue. Plus five, and I've changed. It's just crazy. Yep. You're, roll, just you're, you're putting those in the bank. You're putting the rolls in the bank. <laughs> That's right. One of these combats, you're just going to get 19s and 20s. Nothing but. <laughs> that, that would be nice. Ereva, you, you have received initiative. All right, so I want to move. Did Knocked already get his second heal? No, he hasn't started start his turn, turn yet, so you okay. could technically steal it from him. No, 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 I don't. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he would actually kill me. So I'm going to move here. Okay. Right, yeah, shit. Oh, wait. Well, Why do you keep changing your color there, Ondar? I'm... I'm putting dice in dice jail and pulling new dice out. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I am going to flash burn dice. Um, I'm going to take a shot at winged cobalt six, but I'm going to activate planar warrior and okay. then take a shot. Nice. That is a hit. Perfect. And then I'm only going to click it once this time. Oh, it's dead. Yeah. Instant death. All right, yeah. and then I will end my turn with another cobalt eating dirt. 
All right, knocked. You are up. Yeah, why don't I get that heal real quick, and then I'm going to do five. Oh, I got this. Mm. Do I have it? two points of healing? That is not as much as I was hoping. And I'm not I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I mean, gonna help out Qualamir, but I'm not particularly skilled at medicine checks. I'm gonna take a step to here so I can at least see. I don't know actually what's happening in this room. I just know everybody's running in there in a lot of death, so. Oh, there's not too much blood. Ondar, how good are you feeling about your. How good are you feeling about your uh, ability to finish those guys? Um, Stay safe, my friend. <laughs> not worried about that as much as. I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna try to stabilize Qualamir. Okay. Potion in my backpack. Uh, well, Don't if I can it. medicine check. Okay, here it is. Uh, oh, it's a nat 20. Yeah. Oh, wake up, <laughs> sir. There we go. Doing <laughs> your dice color. I punch him in the heart really hard, and it starts beating again. <laughs> so, how much health does he get then? Does he just go uh, one? I don't actually think with a medicine check, I don't think with a 20, it, it still is just a stable. It's, uh, it's on a, a yeah, when, when he's doing the check, he would get to wake up with one. But okay. in this case, I just keep him from accidentally dying. <laughs> okay. Which is really all I need him to do right now is just, just don't die. Gotcha. Uh, okay. And that will be me. All right, Hawkeye, you have received initiative. All righty. <laughs> Dwarven medicine, dunk. Given by a half orc, which is why it hurts a lot. So... But you wake up, so you got that going for you. <laughs> He's got broken ribs, but I am going to use my scimitar. Is that how you pronounce it? Sure. Yeah. And that's an inv. Is it in? Oh, that's still in action, huh? On, let's do cobalt one. Oops, I hit the wrong one. <laughs> like that? There you go. Oh, you're not you're not targeting it. What is that? Oh, if you're just making an attack, you only have to make a pointer if you're if you're using an area of effect spell. So if you're just making oh. a straight up attack, all you got to do is target it with control. Uh Oh, I just press control and click it. Yep. Like that? There you go. Okay. Um, I think this is what I roll. If you scroll all the way up on your actions yeah. tab, it shows your weapons. So since you're using your shimitar, you mm -hmm. use that dice, which is the attack, and the one right next to it is the damage. So just oh, double click that. So yep. the the one with plus five is what I yep. mean. There you go. That is a hit. The other one right next to it is the damage. 1d6 plus 3 slashing. Oh. There you go. It is dying. And then I would like to move away. Okay. So let's go... So remember, if you move away, Winged Cobalt 4 is going to take a swing at you. Is he? Yeah, Unless I go this way? No matter where. If you stay within five feet of him, then you're good. You can sidle around him. But if you step away, he, he gets the opportunity to attack you. Yeah, he gets an uh -oh. opportunity action. So this is his threatened reach. Uh -oh. As long as you move within that, you're fine. But if you move out of it, so like if you move here, he'll get an attack of opportunity against you. And I don't know what your HP is, but your little dot is orange, so it may not be worth it. Ondar is going to uh, probably 
Oh no, Ondar goes after him. Yeah, yeah I saw <laughs> that's that unfortunate. <laughs> uh, so, to be fair though, he probably is only gonna fight Ondar, right? Ondar's shiny. Oh. So I have a question. Okay. Since I have one level two spot left, correct? Correct. For spells. So this would be a bonus action. If healing spirit is. Could I healing spirit myself? You you can only put well, the healing spirit down in an unoccupied space. Yeah, but you so can step through it. Can I walk into it? Yeah. Yeah. You can step through it. So if you like put it on the big pile of bodies directly one yeah. left of you and then use your movement to step into it, he would not attack you because you're still in threat range, and yes, you could pop off a, a heal on yourself. Okay, I'm gonna do that. <coughs> oh, I would have to make a this healing a aura over a big pile of fucking bodies. It's like four bodies there. Goodness gracious. Okay. That. And okay. then I'm gonna walk into said square and heal myself. Use your uh, healing spirit, plus just or minus. It's just easier. You can click. You can just click and drag. You don't have to target yourself. If you drag it right onto your token, there you go. Five points of healing. Did that work? Oh. I don't. I don't think it actually took effect. No. It did roll the right. from that, but it just didn't actually affect anyone. Yeah, that's weird. Okay, so I, I got. I got that working. Okay, and then I end my turn. If there's pointers or can sometimes it can be really rude Actually, and not affect people i'll move out of it and end my turn so Andra could step into it i suppose we're technically not allied aren't we yeah so we can't occupy your square And then I end my turn. Freddy, you are up. Freddy will move. Twenty-five feet to there. To here or here? Because you stopped in the middle. Oh, sorry. There. Okay. Like I said, my fantasy grounds is being pretty slow. Difficult to control at times. I'm gonna target Cobalt 4 with another uh, crossbow attack. And, um. Take a shoddy shot. Hey! Nice. That is a hit. It was on 4 for a really long time and it decided to be a hit. <laughs> Three uh, points of damage. Yeah. <laughs> uh, my damage rolls are. Yep. I like that that was so heavy it's damage. These yeah. guys are so... <laughs> it's per usual. Alright, um... Then I'm gonna use my bonus action to reload. And, uh, end my turn. Alright, Qualamir does not roll a death save. Winged Kobold, 4, 5, 10, 15, 20, and 25. He's going to attack Andar. Regular Cobalt 4, you just move. Yeah, regular Cobalt 4. Winged 4 is the one right in front of me. Correct. So he hits Ondar, dealing 5 points of damage. To Hawkeye. Why did it not? <laughs> yeah, oh I was like, why? God. To me. Okay. Because you're controlling oh, the wrong see. token, right? My god. Ondar was speaking and I just wasn't listening. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Take At least I away. succeeded on my concentration. <laughs> yep. That is my bad. Winged Kobold 4 is going to attack Ondar. So what happens when you try to rush through your turn. 
That is a hit for six points of damage. Now, Kobold 4. Did he, did he attack with advantage? No, he did not. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... That one would not have hit. This one will attack with advantage. Okay. Okay, we got it. We got it. That is a miss. Now we go to Ondar. And I'll probably miss again, but here we go. <laughs> it's contagious. Oh, Ooh, yep, that's a miss. It was almost on 18 and 22. It's going to look at its sword and weep. <laughs> we move to Ereva. Link to Dros's turn. <laughs> <laughs> oh. his, ghost, his ghost is really pissy right now. <laughs> All right, so I am going to move just right here because I want to be in that 30 foot range. Okay. And whichever one of them I'm aimed at, I'm going to be aimed at Wing Cobalt Winged four Cobalt again. 4. All right, so I'm going to activate Planar Warrior and I'm going to take a shot at Winged Cobalt 4. That is a miss. He ducks get, from your arrow. It's contagious. You've infected us on our battle. It's the other way. All right. Hey, 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 no, I've been hitting. Don't put that juju on me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. right. Well, then I'm just going to end my turn and hope someone else does something. All right, Nox, you have received initiative. Two kobolds left. We just can't hit them. Scooch around everyone up here. And... Go ahead and take a swing. Turn that on. Yeah. That is a hit. Whew. I barely. Just barely. <laughs> That'll be nine points of damage. Of damage. That was good, though. Uh, so what do I do this here? Five, ten. Or no, five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Nah, I'm just gonna stay there. All I'm right, Hawkeye, you you're up. Take a hit. I am going. <laughs> Get hit to... for me. <laughs> Actually, we almost have the same amount of hit points. I forgot I have slightly more than you, so the wound difference is actually very negligible. <laughs> Step in my healing square again. Okay. Five points of healing. And then I'm going to attack Wing Cobalt Four with my swordy thing. Alright. Twenty one to hit. Seven oh, points I... of damage. Sweet. And then I'll get out of the Oops. Like to loot some bodies, see if they got anything decent. Okay. Cobalt, so probably not, but you never know. Depends what um, you like. You like cobalt meat, and we got a lot of it. <laughs> I want to get out of my square. Let's just throw it down in the pit for the roper, keep it even happier. <laughs> Here's a big pile of bodies, buddy. You're our new pet. <laughs> Oh, are we allowed to? Oh, never mind. Um, Ren, can I pick up my arrows, por favor? Sure. Pick up Qualamir and place him in the healing spirit. Is this? I think there's one more decent direction. decision. At least once. Just get him. Yeah, up. how many how many uses do we have of that? Two left? Uh two more. Two more. Yeah, let's okay, toss so... him in there. <laughs> Wake him up. Chuck his body in. Yeah, what do you have? Uh, what do you want me to roll for picking up the arrows again? Uh, 4d6. I would also Oops. like to pick I up I didn't mean the arrow. third one. Four of them? Yeah. I think you made four attacks. I'd also like to pick up I my crossbow bolt, please. Okay. I'm not touching anybody's arrows. <laughs> <laughs> um, Since the last one you ripped in half, you're too just too strong to pull these arrows out right. 
Get the first two rolls for me is for Qualamir. Okay. So, Ereva, you were able to pick up your arrows, no problem. Hawkeye, one thing, remember, whenever you use a spell slot, to click the check on your sheet. Oh, okay. Yep. So you used a second level spell slot. You still have one first level spell left, I believe. Freddy, you are able to pick up one bolt. Just one. Yep. Oh. It's first tile for six. It's two handed. I guess I have my hand axes. All right. In this moment, I'm going to switch from halberd to hand axe shield because I can't rage, so I need to have a little bit more <laughs> fucking survivability. This looks like a very defensible place. Perhaps we should rest here. I, I agree. Exact same thought. Okay, Why don't so you take first watch. I'll... Maybe we should double. I mean, I don't want to go up there, but we should find out what's at the top of this stairs. Because if it's bad, then maybe we just. Scare. Qualamir gains consciousness, gaining a few hit points. Welcome uh, back, buddy. He is going to step to... up and take another, gaining <laughs> fourteen hit points. And that will dispel. All right. <clears throat> if we are going to uh, take a rest, then I will start the song of rest. I start strumming my lute. Well, we have to take a long rest to get any, because we, I mean, I don't know about yeah. you guys, but I used all my hit die already. Um, so almost we have to spend eight my... hours in this bitch. <laughs> I Oops, don't want to, I don't, I don't know if I want to sleep an entire night surrounded by cobalt bodies. I mean, being in a cave is cool, but there's a lot of rotten meat around here. Just throw it to the rope. Remove that. Yeah. How about we just toss the bodies in the stairwell, make it difficult terrain for anything coming up. <laughs> we'll hang them, we'll hang them we'll, from the ceiling so nobody would we'll, dare come up here. We'll, we'll, take, a, we'll take a page. Monsters. We'll take a page out of the fable of the 300 and just stack the bodies in a wall. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, they're cobalt, so it's only about a two and a half foot wall. Plus, I mean, I only, I only need way, four hours so you know, I can And you forget, keep... there's more corpses in the other room right over there. A lot of them. Are we allowed to loot uh, the bodies? Yeah. So, uh, so Freddy, Freddy already looted it. I was getting to that. Uh, 90 oh, experience sorry. points. To everybody, and then Freddy, you basically just see uh, um, scraps everywhere. Um, there's nothing in this chamber treasure wise. Uh, they have a bunch of daggers and some slings and stuff like that. Okay, but nothing, none of it interests me. But I tell the party, yeah, there's there's some few extra weapons here. Maybe Andre, you can try this dagger instead. I hold it out to him, hilt first. <laughs> get smacked for that. <laughs> it's bad enough you had to take my damn sword. It looks um, disgusted at the uh, the dagger and says, no, thank you. Oh, it's not the size that matters, my friend. It's how you use it. <laughs> May I have I, a sling? I have sure. used that quite often in bars, my friend. Are we well, resting here? Back or we can find another one here. I maintain that if we're going to take an eight hour, even if we go in shifts, we're talking about taking an eight hour in here, we should probably know at least what's at the top of this steps, or we need to be able to block it better than pile of kobolds. Well, Ryan, do we, ha do we have enough bodies between the kobolds here, Langdadrosa and his two cronies in the other room, <laughs> and the other kobolds that we killed? <laughs> and that witch's corpse to block up the entrance to the, the stairwell there. So kobolds, are, the kobolds are pretty small. Um, I wouldn't say you could block the tunnel completely, but you could definitely stack them up in a way that it would be very difficult to get through. First, like just some... functionality, and um, you would be alerted because they would have to like move the bodies and shit, and it, it would definitely make noise. I, I tell everyone here my plan about gathering up all the bodies in the other room too and saying that I think that would be enough to not block it completely but someone would have to crawl through the top or knock over the bodies to get through either way we're alerted 
Well, and I only need to sleep for, well, transfer four hours, so smaller window that we won't have someone on guard. Agreed. I roll up my sleeves, even though I'm not wearing any sleeves, <laughs> and start getting to work. Yeah. Taking, to, yeah, taking cobalt bodies over there. Oh, that they're still locked. Oh, no, down into not. the other chamber and grabbing dead cobalt bodies and making sure the roper hasn't come to eat them. And Langdorosa's body. I'll take this one. However long this may take. Okay, Andar, you go into the other room and you see the, the roper kind of just standing still. Just looking like a stalagmite. No, you, not all down the stairs. I was just going down in this chamber. Okay. Right. I'm not no. going down to where the roper is. I, I mean, I if gotcha. I saw the roper in this chamber, I would probably uh, move Run. quickly back and let everyone <laughs> No, not <laughs> run. It's <laughs> loose. It's loose. <laughs> the door is open. Tactical retreat. <laughs> You do not yeah, see here, yeah. Yeah, you do not see any sign of the roper in that room. Big half dragon, which by the way is missing his spike on his nose because I took that bastard for a fucking trophy. Okay, did, gotcha. Did, did he have good armor? Can we use his armor? Because that looks like good armor. I want to say we looked at it and it was like chain mail. I thought it was something. Plate. I thought we looked at it, and the only one who could use it was Qualamir, and it he didn't it want didn't, it for some reason. Didn't help him. Langbedrosa. Yeah, I believe so. I th uh, He has Splint Mail. Splint. Oh, okay. Can I take a tooth from the wing cobalt? Sure. Sweet. I could only use light armor, I believe. Probably. Yeah. That sounds yep. that sounds appropriate. <laughs> yep. I'm a squishy boy. We're going to go long rest, yes? Correct. What are these things? Now we nah. could and how, just throw on, throw how far up there. are you uh putting the bodies? Yeah, you see where that corpse is that you put on the stairwell? <laughs> yep. Right uh, do you see... Okay. Wait, do you not see the thing that I see? Because as I look up the stairs, I see... I, oh, yeah, I, I, I see, see it, too. No, I don't see it. There's nothing there. I don't nope. know what you guys you don't look at it. <laughs> He's trying to like, do the secret, and you don't see me. If you, if I don't see him, he doesn't see me. That's how it exactly. works. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> you, all of us just start burying our heads in the rocks. <laughs> you just don't see it. I don't see it. I don't see it. What are you doing? In retrospect, we could have went and just like slept in that lady's room because also there were bodies there if you really were set on making a body wall, but it also would have been just much easier to defend. But All hey, right, so you basically just choices. pile we the corpses up. This is pretty easy to defend. It's a, it's a, t like there's only two people that can fit in this corridor right, right. here. And you two sit in the front. We got ranged in the back and whatever goes in front of us, hopefully maybe dies. Maybe, I don't know. I think this is hay. I would just like to plop myself down on it. Yeah, it's all it's all like a uh, straw, mattresses, hay, and just like a bunch of nasty bits, basically. I mean, this is comfier than the woods. Yeah, that was a that was a very effective thunder attack that you did there, killing three of those kobolds. Nicely done. Oh, thank you. I just kind of did a big huge clap. I see that. Worked out well. In the future, I would be slightly more cautious against charging into a group of enemies like that, but your boldness paid off, and that could be respected. Thank you. Yeah. Guess I'm gonna just wander over to this corner. Because I rolled a six. All right, so you guys are beginning your long rest then? Yeah, well, since Yureva can finish her rest in four hours, I guess she can take two watches. I'll take a watch. Who else has night vision? Not Ondar. So, uh, I don't. 
There's a torch Pretty burning up. Okay. Oh, so burn. I guess that'll be our. What? What race is Qualamir again? Is he human? He's he's like a a possessed human. Yeah. He has human uh, eyeballs yeah. though, right? And he doesn't yeah. have night vision. Yeah. Okay. So then it's just me and Ureva at this point then, and you knocked. Yeah. But we can knock out because we only need to take four shifts, and Ureva can take two of them because she only needs half as much time well, as us. Set one of these piles of cobalt nastiness on fire, and that would provide light for me. That would provide light, but also tell everybody that there's somebody in here. You know we're here. <laughs> um, I like you, to check around to see if a, there's. Yeah, you do have a, a torch. Right yeah, now, bark, so. and I have a backpack full of torches. I can, nope. I can make fire. I will take a while. Just saying, I mean, I, I mean, I, like I, in, in, in do, reference dark, to we, whether they know you're here or not. I, and remember, I, I snap my fingers, and it just a shower of sparks come from it. I can start them all with light, no problem. It, it, yes, the human torch. Oh, excuse me, half elven torch. I didn't mean to offend you. Um, I like to look around to see if there's like any wooden thing, like a torch or anything, uh, to be able to use as a club. Uh, no. There are no torches in this chamber. Okay. All right, may, I, may I suggest we start our rest then? Very well. I called this one. Oh, whoops. I'll, I'll Actually, uh, a search meditation. of the room. A search of the room does find some coins. <gasps> oh, that is my bad. How many? Let me put Two. it in the chat. <laughs> it's six coins. It was their fucking most prized possession. They're copper and worthless. Stupid kobolds. No, they're t- they're tin. <laughs> All right, yeah, I got they're, t- they're their own made up corner currency. <laughs> I got the uh, coins and the items in the party sheet. You find a bone amulet, an ivory amulet, soapstone amulet, and a wooden amulet. They're all kind of. They're all uh, dragon themed amulets from from before when Freddy checked the room. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hmm. Probably not really worth. They're all uh, dragon-themed. Uh, Do they appear to have any magical properties of any kind, or are they just inert, like, bone carvings? Roll me Arcana. All right. Nope. Okay, character sheet. You're just going to go fucking hog wild on me. All right. Oh, they had a shocking amount go. of gold. You do not get the sense that... Um, there it is. Yeah, you do not get the <laughs> sense that they are magical in any way. <laughs> just, so <laughs> now you're getting that 20 stands <laughs> At the air as you practice. <laughs> do it like practice this. Practice swing. <laughs> um, hey, Freddy, may I have a look at those? Sure. I, I toss you like two or three of them. Um, may I make an... Arcana check? Sure. Wouldn't it be funny if one of those is like, amulet of magic missile, and these idiots didn't use it? (laughs) So, I still can't do the dice from the skill sheet, but I have plus one on Arcana. Okay. You, too, do not get the sense that they are magical in any way. Okay. It seems that you were correct that these do necessarily... Seem in any particular way to me. Yeah, I don't worship dragons. I just plop them on the ground. May I have them? Sure. And uh, just so you guys know, if you don't pick something up from the I, from the party sheet, if you just leave it in there, it's gonna go away. Sure. So if you uh, want to keep, so I will take the sapphire ring. The yeah, I was, stones, I was gonna the... say, didn't you take that? Because you need to take that. <laughs> That's worth selling. <laughs> Where's the party sheet? Sorry. The very top right. It's got all those different items. Oh yeah, there's the chain mail that that we left behind. Also. Oh. Oh yeah, because no one could use that. Oh, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, because it was the only person I think who could use it would have been uh, Ondar, and it's not as good as what he's got. It's changed. That's um, I'll really take changed. the notes. Oh, it's the same as what you got. There you go. The cult map. Okay. I 
I still don't understand how to take things from the party sheet. Nothing I do works for me. I don't, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Hmm. And you're dragging it from the party sheet to your like inventory tab, right? Correct. Yes. And That's... it does, it, it does, it refuses to function. Yeah, I mean, I did it and it worked for me. I don't know why yours is being a jerk. So sometimes, like today, mine is working, but this is the first time since I've started playing that it has actually started working. Do you pull, huh. do you grab the shield icon or the number? Because I find the number is the, really inconsistent. Just grab the, the shield, shield. You have to, shield, sure. yeah. you have to hang icon. over it. Yeah, hang over it and you should get a hand. And then, mm -hmm. yeah. When you yeah, click, okay. start to move, if it turns into a grass pan, you should see a All shadow right. of the shield. So Maybe. after the fifth try, the precious stones worked, but now there's duplicates. So there's three precious stones inside <laughs> the party sheet and three yeah. precious stones in my inventory. Yeah. Um, when there actually should be four precious stones because I had one previously as well. So I don't know what's going on here. You can, also, you can also try dragging it onto your character icon on the top left. Oh, like the, the postage yeah. stamp. Yeah, right. that that might okay. do it. Maybe that'll. I'll try this. Thing. It could just like it could just be that lag. There we go. Making it yep. kind of funky on you today. Oh, so how okay. would no, you drag it? Let's do that then. So click and drag the shield icon in the party sheet of what you want. So you wanted the cult map notes. So you can hover your hover over the shield, so it turns into a hand, and then um, you click and drag that onto your token in the top left. See, but oh, that doesn't. I don't, I don't see a shield. You don't see a shield. It's on the right hand side. It's the brown circle. Yep. Oh, That's this is a shield. Me, yeah, shield. Oh, okay. Sorry, I didn't know that. And if it's a stack of items, you can hold shift to get the whole stack. So that's probably like if you if there's three of the one item, you can hold mm -hmm. shift to take Did all of them. Thank you very much, Drake. Did I just Good. take the party's gold? Uh, that was not possibly. intentional. I don't think hmm. so. No, you definitely didn't take all of it because I got some copper that I did not have before. But I think, oh no, because there was what only like forty gold in there, right? So I think it's, I think it dispersed. Yeah, it Wait, it okay. should automatically split up. So yeah. you grab the shield with the yeah. hand, and it's the so mine's not doing that. I've been trying yeah, to you. Things. You would drag it over to like your own inventory. Right. That's what I'm doing. I think I think it's working for me. Oh, there you go. Hey. All right. So anybody want the chain mail? Otherwise, I'll just give that to Qualamir. I mean, it has some intrinsic value, but yeah, I can't wear it. Ondar is taking the chain mail. No, because it's heavy, and he's the only one with strength. It's not worth a ton. Do you want to take the chain mail, Ondar? No. No? Okay. <laughs> they just throw it at you. It's 55 pounds. That's a lot to carry for what we could probably get 40 gold out of. All right. Getting rid of it. Yeah. I was no. like, I I can't wear it since it's metal. Well, you can. You just lose your druidic powers. Right? <laughs> you just have to stop being you. Yeah, uh, yeah no. <laughs> Can I look at this um, cult map, what their notes is, to see is if it... I know where it is? That's, That's the thing where we found out where Naratar. Yeah, she wasn't stuff, part right? of the party some... yet. Yep. Right, right. That's why. <laughs> uh, resting time. Yes. Yeah, I'll take first watch, and then I think we do Yureva for two. And then, or no. That would have, that map doesn't work out. No, we'll have no, to go she me, has to go then first Freddy, last. then she takes the last two. Yeah, that way we can make sure that somebody with the their shined ass eyes can see. I'm going in one of these beds. Okay. Bed is a very loose term, apparently, because that's a stack it's of hay. It's better than the woods. So as everybody is sitting down to rest and and try to. Uh, um, sleep in the cavern, sleep off their injuries, and take care of themselves. You are able to finish a long rest. Yay, we didn't get sneak hey. attacked. Right. Rage is a reset. Good. I have a chance to actually be able to fight. 
You know, you're more than just your rages. <laughs> I will be if we can get we two more levels to without level fucking ready. dying. Then I'll take fucking enough druid levels to get wild shape, and at least I'll have two resources to not get fucking killed. I gotta be up hey, in front with Ondar, cool. but without all of the fucking AC that his ass gets. That's why I'm gonna take. I'm gonna try to get some levels in Druid, but it'll take two to get Wild Shape unlocked. But then, yeah, that between Rage and that, I can actually tank a lot more like damage. That and one free life from a, a, a Relentless Endurance, so I can become a very much better tank. You already are. Dude. All, well, not against magic, and also not when I run out. <laughs> when I run out of rage, I am not particularly strong comparative to uh, you and your, what, 20, 19 AC? Something like that? Have we completed our rest? Yes. 19? Yeah. Even if I equip my shield, I'm only a 17. All right. Then I'd like to go over to the uh, stack of bodies. Oh, oh, whoa, oh, whoa, oh, hey, whoa, fantasy grounds. Calm down. <laughs> Calm down. There we go. A stack of bodies, and I'm going to take a peek over up the stairs. It's going to take a little bit to remove all the bodies. Pull a torch out and go, Freddy. Just burn them. I think that might that's take good. longer that's than That's going to smell them. so bad. No. <laughs> also also no, going to smell, but... I just meant, would you light the torch so I can see? I, I had no intention of Ignite the body. Oh, okay, yeah. Like without even looking, just over my shoulder, I snap my fingers at the torch. And... <laughs> my hair! Like a... <laughs> <laughs> Missed by that much. Mm -hmm. Like I can't golden. be bothered. He gave you a kicky summer do. <laughs> We're going for a mullet. Business in the front, party in the back. <laughs> And also, get those nasty eyebrows off of there. You don't need them. They're just in the way. They, they complicate your face. So, burn those right off. Holy crap, my chat log just blew up. Yeah, well, I, I see a lot of shadow rolls that make me very no, nervous. No, no, that was no. a so lot the, of them, huh? Well, no, 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 no. So the last thing I saw was Hawkeye rolling that 11. So like all oh, of the you, party you stuff. Oh, just caught up. It ju yes, that's, oh that's, that's what I'm saying. Like, because it, it looked to me like I was the only one that received any gold. So it's like I stole the party's gold, and I was very gotcha. confused by that. There yeah, a lot of stuff happened after that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I rolled a proficiency check. Or, um, you did. Yeah, you did do a good uh, job at it. Perception. Too. So, Freddie, you are listening up the tunnel, trying to get a sense of what might lie beyond, and you hear sounds as if there is uh, something, a few small figures lying in wait. Guys! There's some little guys right there! I really dislike that we slept right next to them. <laughs> well, we didn't sleep with them. Jeez. Close enough. <laughs> uh, well, Rondar, you want to... Yeah. Get over here and help me move some corpses. Sure. Just be careful. They're they're right there. They're lying in wait. Like I would say, maybe even just on the stairs. Yeah. Well, we got to move the bodies. One. I, 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 are we going can, up there? Can, I mean, can, we should probably can just. We, can we push the bodies the... onto them? Up the stairs. Uh, yeah. Okay. I'm strong. I don't ready. think I'm that strong. The sling. The stairs are like twenty feet from yeah. end to end. That would be a, a pretty big ask even for a couple of big strong boys to lift dozens of corpses up a flight of stairs. Well, no, no, I, 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 like they're stacked up into a mound. Just tip the mound over so we can at least see in the tunnel. Oh, I thought we, I figured that's what we were doing. Like just, yeah, pulling, pulling the wall. I thought pull it in towards us so we don't have to walk over them. But I was just asking for Andar to help me kind of topple the wall. Will do to topple it. Yeah, back like preferably back toward the like grab it and pull it at us. That way we don't have to step over the bodies, so that like we we would end up with the big pile of bodies here. All right, yeah, for sure. So Andar, with the assistance of Noct, is able to kind of pull those this this body in a way that disperses them 
over here. Well, I'm actually just gonna. I'd like to ready my sling. Okay. Wonder if uh, somebody could maybe convince them to come down here, and then we have, uh, you know, our people who do range actually at an advantage to shoot them on the stairs. I, I shout up the stairs. Cobalt, come down here and get shinies, or stay up there and die. No, you you come up here. No, you come here. Shinies are down here, not up there. No, oh, so if we come no up there, we're just gonna kill you really, really savagely. <clears throat> we we have many manys up here. You, there you were many down here. Worry. We are not worried. And we have bennies down here. <laughs> we like there to see our bodies down body here. Pile. I clapped and three of them died. You have a choice to either get the shinies or to get the sword. Which one do you want? Roll me. A deception. I had to bring up the shinies. <laughs> we don't have shinies. You know we don't have shinies. I have some shinies. We all have some shinies. We, we legitimately have shinies. He's just talking about money? I guess money can be shiny since it's all All coins. right. Roll me a persuasion with advantage. That blades. My blades are shiny. With blood. Persuasion. Hey, I'm actually not too atrocious at that. Hey, 19 ain't bad. Uh, <laughs> you, you give... Us shinies, and you let us go? Glance yeah! Are we, are we actually gonna let him go? I don't really care that much, but I just want to know before I accidentally cut, cut one of them. I, I can I, do I, another I, clap. I, cut! I, I, you, you cut? I, no, I, just I, making sure we're not cutting. We 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 make deal. You all leave the cave and cause no harm to anyone else, and you may leave. But you have to drop your weapons. No passing through with weapons. We won't hit you. You 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 let us go. We 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 don't give no harm. All right then. We'll be by the cave door. You just pass on through the hallway. Roll me another deception check. Wait, are we lying? I thought we were letting him go. I'm, 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 I'm going to uh, base it for the monster real quick. Oh, oh. Okay. That one's not so good. Not great. With, with its nat one ability. <laughs> <laughs> I got too close to him. <laughs> I can smell the cold we, blood on you. We we leave now. You 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 wait a little bit. We 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 gone. And then you hear a, a bunch of scurrying up top, sounding like a couple different little forms booking it. You can ascend the stairs. back yet I will be uh, yeah just behind Hawkeye if my character would move hello give it five or ten minutes <laughs> am, am I moving to you guys or am I stationary mm, no nope, right now you're stationary, no, you're stationary. move oh yeah saw saw yeah, some there we go. so it's dark up here I'm guessing yeah torch at least you got a torch oh boy <laughs> shit I can see that um what is the range okay. on a sling I can see that oh. it says on the uh sling yeah okay Andar I need you at what? To make me a oh, dexterity saving throw. Oh, dexterity lying little saves. bastards. 
And of course. Oh. Ooh. So you actually <laughs> end up taking. Okay, let's see. Maybe you I am not first. Uh, knocked. Actually, I need you to make me a dexterity saving throw as well. I get advantage as you on see, dexterity. Woo! Very nice. As you see some rocks from the ceiling giving way. 14. That is not enough. Both you oh. and Ondar are going to take some bludgeoning damage as rocks fall from the ceiling, crashing on oh, top of you. Running. Ow! These little bastards. Yeah, if we find them, I uh, think they broke the, the treaty. We get to kill them now. I would agree. Are you gonna move, Hawkeye? Or are we? Oh uh, yeah. Um. Qualamir's just gonna chill back there. He's taking a nap. <laughs> he's he's it's difficult guys. terrain now, isn't it? Is it difficult terrain? The stairs. Yeah. Well, rocks were falling. Yeah, it's 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 difficult. Oh, okay. It's a little more slow slow moving. Simple oil lamps provide dim flickering light in this chamber, so it's all dim light. I will uh, look around. All right. Looking around, you see some uh, young-looking drakes, guard drakes down below. And they're kind of hissing in that, that like, feral animal thing where they're, where they're kind of, like, half-turned to you. <laughs> and down below. That... A- like one of those gated doorways like we had at the Roper Room? Yes. Okay. Well, at least they're down there for now. Right. One of those old cobalt fucks. Do you though. see any of those? <laughs> I'm, I'm going Roper. to take a moment to look for the fucking cobalt. Right, I'm just going to pass right. Hawkeye then. Oh, she does move. Do you okay. see any of those yeah. rope? I, I, I'm, I was Ooh, going to okay. pass her. Okay. Um, I still have my sling ready. Stalactites. The ledge that you guys are looking over is a sharp 10-foot drop-off with the wooden stairs descending at the right end and a stout cage made of iron bars surrounding these steps to a height of 10 feet, preventing the drakes from escaping up the steps. There is a key hanging on a peg at the top. I'd like to very, very cautiously start uh, looking over here in this corner of the cave. Um, I look cautiously with Freddy over there. Okay. What, can I actively roll perception for like traps or anything? Okay. Yeah, it still won't let me do it from there. I have plus five on perception. You can type in in modifier in the far bottom left a five and then roll and it'll do it for you it's very helpful that's true that's not letting you roll from the it's gotta Uh, be some kind of loading thing maybe because the extension was loaded after like maybe a refresh would do that yeah maybe probably next week won't be a thing that seems like totally a thing this week too (laughs) like a frame from like a map or something is not uh, could be because sometimes it's really it's really weird uh, the window frames sometimes intrude on each other. Well, she's getting like an error message though, so it, uh, it, to me it sounds like some kind of loading yeah, error that will probably sort video. itself out by next time. Um, so I technically rolled a 22. Yep. Okay, so Freddy and Hawkeye listening into the chamber over here, you actually oh, hear shit. some uh, some some fluttering. Hawkeye namely it sounds like it's coming from the ceiling. There's some, some, like rodent sounds. I guess you could say, some fluttering and, and light movement coming from the ceiling in that chamber. God, what is There's that? There's some movement on the ceiling. It's like a beating sound. What is that? It's like a fluttering, or almost like a rodent. Yeah, but I think fluttering. we should be very cautious coming over this area. Well, it is a cave. It might just be bats. And Andar, you see there's a rack over here 
on that wall that holds implements that you kind of guess are used in training. Long poles with lassos at the end, leashes and collars, sharp prods, mock weapons made of wood, human-sized dummies stitched out of sailcloth and stuffed with straw, all with ridiculous expressions painted on their faces. I remember beating up test dummies before. Nothing more gonna... to take though, right? Nothing. On top. Yes. What's over there? <laughs> Crash them. Crack tools. Training weapons. What are the weapons? Uh, what are the weapons? They're DM. Uh, they're they're mock weapons, so mock you could use weapon. them for like a an Im, a, a uh, improvised weapon, but they don't actually have no like proficiency. Set. No, it's just like wooden swords, wooden clubs oh, type thing like that. Stomp, stomp, club type implement. <laughs> I'll, I'll I'll take one of those. Very well. Does this uh, tunnel seem to extend this way? No, it does not. From your vantage point, it cuts the corner, but it actually doesn't go any further. I mean, I'm, I'm guessing they just went out this way. This, uh, this seems to circle this... back. Is there a key on this wall, you said? Yes, right here. All right, I'll, I'd like to... Oh, over here. Okay, I'd like, I'd like to... Uh take said key okay and just just take it so nobody else can open that cage for now you should toss it down in there with them that way if you want to open it you got to go down there and then they get attacked that'll be funny it would be oh man this cave is this cave seems to go on for a while there remind you of home well, normally you know where a cave goes unless you're on the job so yes and also not well well that one more your Ava could put no, all right we have Hawkeye right as knocked is beginning to move to this square your perception check from before tips you off to there being a uh a false floor right there. No, don't stand there. It's a false floor. And let's not stand there. <laughs> <laughs> so there is a uh, there's a sheet that it has there's a sheet of parchment that has been cleverly painted to to resemble the surrounding stone. Um, uh, I'll just I take, take my halberd and, and just and whack it and try to dislodge it so we can... All right. <laughs> I was going to just take a rock, but... Okay. Oh, see, I was I mean, going to use my sling. My you have to admit, <laughs> they, they, they are complicating clever. stick poking. Yeah, yeah, they are clever little bastards. You have to admit that. Yeah, I'll give them that, but if I do find them, I feel like they have earned a, a good chopping. Uh, yeah, I, I shall viciously it. mock them ruthlessly. <laughs> <laughs> a ruthless vicious. <laughs> Uh, Can I, I shoot the the false floor? Uh, Nox already just, used his yeah, halberd. I, oh, okay. uh, I'll do the same. Just kind of poke around like uh, this one and this this one to see if it's safe for people to proceed. All right. Just so you tap it on as I go. <laughs> you poke portions of the floor. The sheet falls from this one, and then there appears to be a safe pass through this way. All right. Well, that's a way out of a going spike this trap. Way. At the bottom of that pit? Yep. That would have sucked. <laughs> well, strength before beauty. Oh, I do oh. have advantage on deck saves, so I'll, I will go first.
Nothing. Uh, nothing. Take another, take another step. At least try to... I know that there was talk of fluttering sounds. <laughs> I'm waiting for a swarm of bats to come bite me or something. As that was my do. heart every time I look at you. Oh, uh, Lord. Okay, <laughs> knocked. Looking around this chamber, you notice a couple dead bats on the floor. Hmm. Yep. That's weird. Yeah, uh, can I perception check the ceiling? Sure. Let's see if I actually can. Not particularly well. <laughs> you look up to the ceiling, but you don't really, uh, Just you don't looks really like notice, a ceiling, guys. notice a whole lot. You, uh, you see some movement, but your, uh, your attention seem to be elsewhere. I see them staring as well. And could I uh, <laughs> attempt to discern what they're trying to look at? Turkeys in the rain. Sure, oh. make an insight check, Freddy. <laughs> oh, oops, wrong one. There we go. Uh, oh, you get the sense like that team forever. <laughs> you get the sense that they are uh, looking towards the ceiling. I I have an idea. <laughs> what, 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 I mean, right, that, that's what, what I wanted to look at. What they're doing. Too. Oh, that's what they're doing. <laughs> you you asked. I can get a sense as to what they're looking at. That was your exact words. Oh, oh. Raise yeah. my torch as far as I can to cast the light as high as it will go. All right. Looking up, you see the ceiling is just packed with bats, carpeted with these figures. I figured that's what that smell was. Uh, maybe, I know you don't want to, but maybe put the torch out. You don't need the little guys to wake up. Will the light awaken them? It will not not awaken them. At this point, you are not quite in the chamber enough. But if you move any further, then it might startle them. But right I now, mean, we don't have to go is, this way at all. But yeah, the the ceiling of the chamber that you are just about to leave is kind of overhanging. Oh, OK. Well, then guys, I got an idea. I will douse the light. I just snap my Grab fingers at it. Up. <laughs> um, won't even let him have that belt. satisfaction of putting out his own torch. That's right. <laughs> I'm in control here. <laughs> well, in the darkness, look in Freddy's direction, even though I don't know if I'm looking at him or not, and shrug and grab Knot's belt. We'll lead on. Then, That's not my, my belt. Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, okay. Well. Uh... We should be quiet as we go across here. Uh, this is less than ideal for our clanky friend, but... Oh, my other just giant spider behind. That's going to be fun for, for Hondor. <laughs> A wolf spider of all things. <laughs> the giant wolf spider's now here, yeah. and he'll have no idea until he touches it. Nope, he has no clue. I I can put you into a wolf spider. Hondor. Our friend is now a spider. Do not be alarmed. Uh, no, she I hasn't change changed. A spider? No, she, no, she hasn't, hasn't changed. changed. She's she just like, added it to her sheet. Yeah, oh, yeah I'm just okay. trying to add it oh, to my sheet. That. Okay. Oh, oh man. Sorry. It's, 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 it said polymorph, so I thought and, that it and, happened. Yeah, I thought that was happening. Although I did think. No, it was weird I'm that trying to go down to the wild shape to get it. And and Andar, uh, you know, um, what is it? His flaw is arachnophobia, so that's going to ruin it. Is it really? I, no, oh, I'm, kidding. Mind. I, that was... I'm kidding. Um, what? I know I'm leading his very unstealthy ass, but uh, yeah. let's move over here yeah. with Ondar in tow, but Where? quietly. Wherever you go, I shall follow. Quietly. I'm trying. I was quiet. Were you? <laughs> I just hear nothing as my big ass goes across and then clink, clink, clink. All right, everybody clink. make me a stealth check, please. Come on, Andar, you got this. This is I the rolled. one time. I rolled, but it, there we go. Oh, there it is. Ah, uh, you weren't. Hey, that's not bad for disadvantage. That could have been way worse. Yeah. Could have been worse. But he's not okay, attached so... to you, so. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, <laughs> I guess you're right. You know what? You were right. It could be worse. Um, Fuck, I tripped. So I got a four. Yep. Okay, so you are all moving across this, trying to move as stealthily as possible. And it seems like you are successful, for the bats on the ceiling are not moving and not paying any attention to you. Right. Uh, I'm guessing this is like a little plateau. How how tall does it look? Like 10 feet? 15 feet? Oh, uh, sorry. This. That is... Uh... Like five feet down, I think. Oh, it goes. Oh, okay. Oh god. Sometimes it's hard to oh, make no, out what feet. they're trying to tell me on these. Yeah, maps. okay. Like I see, it goes down and then down a second time. Yep, okay. down <laughs> ten feet and then down another ten feet. It looks like. My eyes were being weird, so it looked like one big raised area. Um, I, I don't think we want to go down that yet. Yeah, There's and there is a stairs. very nasty, very disgusting odor wafting up from down there. Uh, I uh, yeah, would like to move there deal. and okay. uh, peer down the stairs. Quietly. So I'll take a stealth <laughs> check, please. You see to the oh. bottom of the steps opening up into a larger chamber. Okay, apparently my fantasy grounds is going to be shitty again. Nock, have, have you eaten something that's not agreeing with you? Oh, I haven't eaten anything but old uh, bread. So I, I, I whisper back to the party. Yes, I, I whisper back to the party. Stairs over here, they go down about, how far did you say, Ryan? The stairs would go down, uh, I would say like 15 feet. 15 feet, and there's another opening, another cave. Does it stink down there, too? Uh, I don't know. Does it, DM? No. No. No smell. Make a perception check. Freddy. There is a cool drafts kind of coming from down there. Okay. There seems, seems to be like a there's... temperature change. Yeah, seems like there's a cool draft coming from down here. Well, I suppose it could be, you know, whenever you cut a tunnel, you always want to cut an ex, you know, an exit. So it could be that in case of a cave-in. Yeah, or it could be drainage too for water. So I think we go that way instead of the way into the stink pit. Right. That's probably just a big cobalt toilet, so. Mm. Garbage dump. A guano canal. <laughs> um, so oh, I, I got that. I see what uh, you did there. So Hawkeye looks up to see how many bats are on the ceiling. Um, like what? Is it the whole area that it covers? Or it, is it the bats are basically carpeting the ceiling? Okay, so I can't do what I was thinking. It's well, either, you, it's either uh, stairs or we leave. No, like, am, am I going first? Like, I thought we were exploring this cave. No, Let's but go. once I have to move, Elmdor's coming with me, so be prepared for a bat apocalypse. There's and also we're going to try uh, to move in front. There's also a, a, pitted, a pitted beer. Oh my god, I can't talk. Oh. <laughs> there is a no, pitted fucking rock and beer. There is a pitted blade on a spear lying on the floor near the top of the steps. A pitted uh, blade? I don't What does that word mean? I'm not even sure. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a really badly made spearhead. Yeah, so there's oh, there's a crude, spear crude. There's a spear basically it, it's all like bent and warped from use. But like pitted is like the spearhead itself is like when you, something comes oh, out of the foundry and like, they did a really like, bad yeah. job. Of, like a golf ball. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, like a golf ball. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. L literally pitted. I thought. Okay. Yeah. All right. It's either that or it's pitted and driven into the wall. I, I don't know. I mean, it is wood. Hawkeye Flying is on the floor? Well, Andar can't see it. There is a see, curtain down below. 
Lovely. A curtain. Hawkeye is moving. contemplating whether to take the spear. At the base of these steeply descending steps, a curtain hangs across the passage. It is made from hundreds of heavy leather strips, each about the width of a human hand. The strips are fixed to the ceiling and are long enough to drag on the floor. The curtain extends from wall to wall. The leather comes from a variety of local animals and is badly cured. The curtain is several layers thick with no gaps, so you can't see through it at all. Well, me and Andar, assuming that that stops us at the the curtain, otherwise move you back until we stop. We'll move up to the curtain, but not pierce it yet. Okay. Mostly because we're going to have to turn the light back on at some point if we have to fight because Andar's no good in the dark. I'm, <laughs> staying, with, I'm staying within 10 feet of Andar. Perfect. <laughs> for, for, for that specific reason. As we descend the stairs, I'm going to ask, Is it? are we clear of bats yet? Can I... Can I have my light back, please. I'm going would, to take the spear. Okay. I wouldn't quite recommend it yet. Yeah, let's give it just one second. I'll, so, I'll turn the light back on when necessary. So uh, this is a very steeply descending set of stairs um, that if you hold the torch in a way that it doesn't bleed into this chamber, you think uh, you you reasonably think that the bats would not be able to see it. Okay, uh, then once they get to that point, I shall, um, Ondar, close yes. your eyes for a second, and then I turn the light back on on his torch. All right, knocked, and Ondar, the smell of old blood assaults your nose. The floor is covered with dried puddles of it. Oh, this is not going to be a fun room to be in, boys. Uh, I'm going to just part part some of the leather which i assume is just going to be very gross to touch part as he it reaches so out for him. the for the for the curtain Andar's going just like hold hold your hand my friend okay but why listen first <laughs> to make sure there's nothing moving on the other side of that curtain we listen <laughs> all right make me a perception check can he have advantage because I'm... Well, I can't assist with that. Never That's mind. fine. I got a 19. <laughs> Doesn't get a whole lot better. <laughs> okay. You do not hear or sense anything beyond the curtain moving, but taking a moment to really get a bearing on your surroundings, it looks like the curtain, the leather strips have some sort of liquid on them. Ew, is it I don't blood? like it. It is not blood. Is it oil? It looks to be viscous. Are they like Venus flytraps where they're just going to catch them and digest them? I wonder we'll put the flame from the torch to the curtain. Hold on a second, hold on a second. <laughs> <laughs> As you tried to help me, friend, let me help you. Let's take a step back and then do this from a, a bit of a distance, huh? I'm going to move to here and then let him toss. If that thing does, well, you know, it is oil. Yeah. I don't want us to be, like, within five feet of it. I'd like us to have a little room. Oh, okay. My point. I still have my sling ready. So, All yeah, right. just, just, you know, basically reaching out with the torch, just brushing the uh, the curtain with the flame, you know, not, you know, just trying to create, if it's going to flame up, it's going to flame up. So as you reach out with your torch and inspect the curtains themselves much closer, you see that the leather strips are coupled with some barbs. Very hard Ooh. to notice. Ooh. It appears that these curtains are trapped with barbs that cut your skin and the oil potentially being a type of poison. Those little bastards. They really trapped out this half of the cave. Oh, wait. You know, they might have stopped us if they'd have trapped out the first half of the cave, too. Those... Think about it, though. That spear at the top of the stairs. The spearhead itself was nicked and marred. That was how they opened the curtain. Yes, and Andar, looking down, you see there's a little 
pit in the floor, it looks like. Like a pit trap type thing? No, trap like pit. like a like a little indent. Oh. Uh, Could someone look... bring that spear forward, please? I mean, I have a spear. I got it. I, I thought I was holding spears. it, so because I picked Talk. it up. That's Toss the spear Does it look like a very specific uh, 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 spear hole, or will... Because I have, a, like, just a generic spear. Can I just jab it in there? You could, if you really wanted to. Okay. You don't need this spear. But that's well, I thought that Hawkeye wanted to keep that spear. The, the one I, I just found. picked it up. Oh, okay. Sorry, I thought you wanted to keep it. Okay, yeah. Then I, I was I'll, debating. I'll, I'd rather use the shittiest one. <laughs> just in case, I'd rather use the shitty one. So Ondar will trade spear for, in... or she moves up. Okay, fine. Get out of the way, Ondar. Right. <laughs> oh. uh, all right. Is she a human is or is she... <laughs> is is, is no. Ondar a human? She looks no. human. Oh, she looks human. Okay. Um, I'm a To be shifter, fair, Freddy looks shifter. human if you overlook the ears. So, I'm a shifter. Hawkeye moves forward and puts the butt end of the spear in the little indent and uses it to open the curtains. To which you see four floor to ceiling columns are spaced across the chamber and chains have been strung between them like clothesline. Animal carcasses hang on hooks from the chains. You see gutted and skinned antelope, deer, goats, what might be big cats and even a few small bears. Some of this meat has been here for a while, if the smell is a reliable indicator. I place my hands over my mouth, like in <laughs> shock, and then like slowly back away. <laughs> I thought you were going to say vomit. <laughs> no, and, and then I tell them what's in the room. I'll poke my head. Horrified, because of the animals. Right. There we go. And I'll just poke my head in and see you. I mean, it doesn't... I'm guessing, since we didn't hear anything, that there's nobody in here, right? No. And somehow this this chamber is cool. It's very cool. It, it's only a few degrees above freezing somehow. Magic eyes. I've seen it before, gentlemen. <laughs> Can't trust it. Uh... I guess we could look around. I'm not really the one who should be investigating rooms. <laughs> to keep their... I'm really not the one you want in charge of that. Uh, if maybe somebody... Does this look like better. a slaughterhouse? Yes, this looks to be like a... Uh, um, a chamber that houses... Uh, like a meat locker. Some... That's what I was thinking. It, it yeah. looks kind of like a meat locker. I'd like to use investigation to try to figure out where the uh, the cold is coming from. That's much better than I would have done. <laughs> All right, Freddy, looking around, you don't find anything of value. Um, you're kind of feeling the air in some places. Uh, this just seems to be a natural effect of the chamber. Somehow, the way it is, it is positioned, whatever happens to be around the cave in the ground seems to be just keeping it cool. There might be like an underwater river or something keeping it cool. It's, uh, the, the, this coolness appears to be natural, gentlemen. And it just seems, seems to be some sort of meat locker. Yeah. Well, that does check out. They were putting in a lot of meat, so... Well, I think those little cobalt fuckers went out the front door when we was uh, not looking, so... Right. Unless you guys really want to go into the stink pit, I think we are done here. I, I, I agree. I don't really think that going around the stink pit corner is going to go far. Time to find the Are blessed you sun of again. Down there? Oh, I'm slightly curious, but I have a feeling it's the other side of a slight wall. I could see most of it. I just couldn't see around one corner. Um, Hawkeye decides to look. Well, oh, oops, never mind. Um, Hawkeye looks up to see if there's any bats on the ceiling. Of this chamber? The cool chamber? Of this chamber. Nope. Yeah. The okay. cool chamber. This chamber's got a leather uh, jacket. The locker smokes. chamber. Right. Yeah. This jacket rides bikes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to say, uh, based on my knowledge of caves and the uh, locations of some stuff, I really do think that the uh, stink pit doesn't go anywhere. 
Um, topographically speaking. Very... Guys, I have an idea. Yes. So, if some of this meat is still good, like depending on how old old it is, we could just take some for food. Ah, oh, I'm gonna stick to my heart attack than random meat I find in caves where kobolds live. <laughs> <laughs> they're they're um, gross little grubby monsters. I'm just gonna go over and sniff a side of beef and see if it smells <laughs> good. Do a little rocky punching with it. Some did we, some did of we... the meat still looks like it, it was uh, f- freshly enough butchered that it would be um, usable, but most of it is is kind of starting to rot. Some of this is very bad, very um, bad. I, I would I would be very selective with the cuts you choose, ladies and gentlemen. But I do have a quick question: Did anyone take a good look around that pit that those young drakes were in? Were there any eggs hiding in that section? I did not see any. Uh, yeah, I did. I did a look, but I was mostly looking at the the. Uh, stalagmites and stalactites okay. because well, ropers. I, I, that, I, didn't, I think that so was I, a training I find that very area. unconvincing. I, I, I find it unconvincing, so I'm going to go take a double check real quick, and I'd like... Okay. Be quiet across the hallway, or the bats will eat to, you to uh, be your bones. Back up here, and then, uh, They're the piranhas yeah, of the yeah, sky! Yeah, yeah, once, get, once he gets I'll, the top, I'll head back I'll, with Freddy. I'm going to take a stealth check. I just wanted check. an excuse to say they're the piranhas of the sky. Hello? Yes, Hello? We, I hear you. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right, You're moving. anyone moving through the chamber? I need another stealth check. I am not yet. I don't want to give up my life. Plus... <laughs> That's good enough. All right, Freddy and Hawkeye can move silently through the chamber. So the bats are all across the room in this whole chamber, right? Yes, they are carpeting the ceiling. Okay. One way or another, uh, I guess I'll say this, Donner. One way or another, I think we go straight across instead of trying to go out the front. There's just less distance to cover for the bats. Well, yeah. I will drop my torch and... They will, they will get stuck in your hair. Uh, now that I'm on the precipice, I'd like to take a very good, long, hard look. Like, can I make two separate perception checks to scour <laughs> um, this whole part of the case? Wait, before, Super wait, hard. Be, before, before you do that, I'm going to cast Guidance on All Freddy. All right. There you go. Freddy, you oh. can make a perception check with a plus four for the Guidance. All right. <sighs> Guidance is plus four, man. Guidance is a better spell than I remember. It's a D- or, no, it's a D four. Oh. My bad. It's oh, a D four. Oh, it's a D four. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Roll a D four. I mean, it is a cantrip though. So oh, I was Still. meaning to oh. target Freddy. All right. So instead of a plus, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What are you doing? What are you doing, game? Yeah. So instead of a plus seven, it'll just be a plus three, and then plus two, so plus five. All right, Freddy. Looking around this chamber. You do not spot any dragon eggs. All right. Bonus. We killed all the dragons. Oh, there does not appear to be any here. I'll go back to here. Roll another stealth check. <laughs> and yell across the chamber. Come back. You don't have to come back. We can see you. I can see you. Uh, does Guidance still stay on Freddy? No. For a stealth check? No, he used, he used, he used it, it when he... Yeah. Oh, can I but cast I mean, cantrips, again? You can keep casting it. Uh, uh, yeah, I'll take it. You don't have to come back here. I'm not. I'm going that. I point. I'm going that way. Um... You're going into the stink pit. I'm pointing this direction. Why? We can go back up the way we just came and go down the stairs, and then not have to deal with the bats. Don't have to expose ourselves to those piranha up there. You can see this big chunk of hair I'm missing. It's from bats. You, you... <laughs> okay. You remember that there's a huge slide we have to get up, right? Huge slide we have to get up. Yes. If you look on the big map right here. Well, I, I, I meant when I said stairs, I meant these stairs. We backtrack to there and then go this and go up that way. 
Because you've been in this one and there wasn't no, bats no, there. That, 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 room, that room doesn't connect, dude. So the room to the stairs, left, then? those are the ones that have the living mushrooms in it, remember? No, I don't remember what? that. <laughs> Apparently it has been too long. Oh shit, when Freddy snuck in himself. Oh, right. Yes. Yeah, isn't here, that the one? He, yep. Here is big old mushroom fungusy boys that tried to attack me. Right. This does not... Come on, Arrow, please work with me. There we go. This does not connect. That's a tunnel that goes underneath this passage. And this over here, where the big yellow arrow is, is a like 30 foot slide that we went down. Yeah. However, however tall uh, it was. I thought this was like a bridge. So we either no. climb up a slide or we fight mushroom boys to get out. I don't know how we climb up a 30 foot slide. Exactly. So that's so why I'm going to stealth through this portion here. I guess technically I do know how. It was, we send the wolf spider up it because they're good at climbing. And then she sends a rope down and we all climb we don't. We don't know that she's a wolf spider or can turn into one. She said she could do it. <laughs> Stop metagaming. She said the words out loud. Put out your light, um, Andar, and grab my belt. This is yeah, going to go so bad. I dropped the torch. I dropped <laughs> so the torch. Can I guess? Oh, okay. Sorry. Here can we I go. cast guidance on myself since Freddy already moved? You can. Yes. Okay. I'm going to do that. As a stealth check. Oh. I like that Qualamir just stopped moving in the cave and, and politely waited for us. Um, so that's <laughs> 10, uh, roll a 10 plus uh, you, 2, so 12. Right, Okay. What was that? Can you cancel my move, Ryan? I'd like okay. to uh, gotcha. make some make some perceptions here for some trappy traps. Okay. See if, see if I spot any. Looking around, you do not spot any traps. You just notice the room beyond seeming to be the mushroom chamber that you were in before. Gotcha. All right. Well, Ondar and I are going to move up to here. Okay. And hope that his feet hold out and that mine do, I guess, too. Knocked, Ondar, Ereva, and Qualamir all roll a stealth check, please. I got a 14. Clank, clank. Clank, 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 clank. <laughs> You're just kicking oh, me in the back of the shins or on the back of the heel the whole time. <laughs> Moving What's through the feet? chamber. The bats are not startled. You need to watch your feet. It's There's my sword. It's not your sword. It's literally my sword. And also, it's your feet making the noise, not this, not your sword. Right, yes. Your, your sword. Yes. Move up to the next place. I whisper, guys, I can change into a spine. <laughs> if you didn't know already. I heard you. I see. I heard her say it, Freddy. What What type of spider? I, I can change different into a wolf spider, a giant wolf spider, or just like a regular, I think, poisonous. Poisonous? Like, like a daddy long legs? That was not actually poisonous. That's an old wives tale. Once again, <laughs> I mean, once again, <laughs> tell me when I can light my torch. Not All right. Yet. Once you get within the chamber beyond, beyond, uh, then, then we're good. past okay. this little tunnel thing, you could light your torch back up. Okay. All right. Well, then I will guide him to where we can do that. All right, All right guys. No, stop. No, stop. I stop. Um, knocked. Do not touch. Do you stop, knocked. <laughs> Well, I, I was only moving to here, isn't that as far as you moved as well? Where are we moving? I think the black lines are a path that you have to follow. Yes. yes. Do not touch. Oh, okay. The black the lines fungi. are a path. Okay. Do not touch the fungi. Stay on the path. Okay. Here. I'm quite sure what that was, <laughs> to be honest. Is where we will have to end. Wah, wah. Why do you hate us? <laughs> oh, are you kidding me? We went <laughs> past time. What are you talking about? Oh, jeez, yeah, it's almost over. <laughs> At some point, I have to do some work today. Yeah, All we're, right, we're guys. Say it every time, anyway. 
We are almost out of here. Thank you so much for tuning in. Hope you guys had a good time. It was a nice, nice little session. Yes, yeah, yeah. All right, guys. So next Monday as well, same time, 10 a.m. Central Standard. Huzzah! I look forward to it. Yep. Thank you, week, guys. Yes. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys. I have a great time with you. Y'all have a good day.